Hello, church. My name is Janelle Kurtz, and I have the joy of serving as the pastor in Snohomish with the community and people of Snohomish United Methodist Church. And today I am sharing with you a story. I am always telling stories. My people can tell you that. And this morning I'm sharing a story that is a reflection on Sabbath and grace. And it was prompted by Jesus' invitation in Matthew, come to me all who are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. I shared this story as a part of a sermon series or worship series that we're doing in our place. It is about fun in the sun summer. And to start, I invited people to remember some of their own quintessential summer activities. I know that we are people from different places and different cultures and different times. And so I know that our experiences may be different. The one that I was sharing and reflecting on came from my experience. I grew up in a middle-class white family outside of Cleveland, and my mom was a teacher, which meant she worked so hard during the school year to care for her students and families and her own family, but she taught us how to rest really well when summertime came. And so one of my quintessential summer experiences is remembering just laying for hours on end in a hammock in our backyard. It's where I read all the Harry Potter books when they came out. It's where I read uh, Little House on the Prairie books. I spent hours just in this hammock and looking up at the sky, noticing the clouds going by. And I found that time so restful, but not only restful for my body. I learned that in all those long hours on the hammock in the backyard, I found God's grace and healing in those moments. I tell people I was a perfectionistic child and I am a recovering perfectionist as an adult. And so for me, so much of my childhood, I thought that all of my worth was tied to the ways in which I performed, the ways in which I could be the best or the brightest or the fastest or the most good, goodest girl that ever existed. And so naturally, that was exhausting. If you have ever experienced something like that with strivings, you know that. Or if you've ever cared for someone like that, you know that. And so for me, those long hours on the hammock became a way in which not only my body rested and was present and still, but it's what I think of when I think of those moments where my spirit finally found rest too. I didn't have to perform didn't have to earn any title. It simply was able to be. And in those moments, I felt my spirit within me breathe more freely. I felt it take up its whole space. And it's like I learned the shape of my own soul on those afternoons. When I think of them, I have to tell you my favorite part of the story is that the hammock we had was not one of those woven hammocks of all one fabric. It was one of those ones that has the cords that crisscross and make the diamond shape. And so I would sit there, lay there so long that when I got up, my front half of my body would be sunburned and my back half would be covered in the diamond markings from the woven, the cords that held the hammock everywhere, my arms, my legs, my whole backside. It was uncomfortable almost. But for hours later, I could see the imprints on my skin. And now I reflect on that time and I think about the ways in which grace imprints itself upon us. Those markings reminded me of the different Sabbath rest can make in transforming, shifting, changing something to find healing and wholeness and belovedness. And so when I would get up from the hammock, that would go with me for hours on end till the marks would fade. And I think of Sabbath as an invitation. I think of Jesus' invitation to rest as an invitation for us to come back to those practices, those experiences where grace imprints itself so deeply upon us that we carry it with us where we go to the next place. And so I would invite you, um, in closing, I want to offer you an invitation to return to a practice. 
memory and experience where grace imprinted itself into you like those diamond shaped patterns of the hammock into my skin and let it carry you through the day. Let it hold you in the moment and carry you through the day. And my friends, a practice that I offered to um, my own congregation is this breath prayer for closing based on Jesus' invitation. On the inhale, come to me. And on the exhale, I will give you rest. Take care.